வெல்கம் பேக் டு முதல் ஜென் ஏஐ பவர் டேட்டா அனலிட்டிக்ஸ் இன்டர்ன்ஷிப் பை டாட்டா இந்த டாஸ்க் டூ திங்ஸ் ஆர் கெட்டிங் ஈவன் மோர் எக்ஸைட்டட் வி ஆர் ஆஸ்க் டு பில்ட் அண்ட் ஏஐ மாடல் டு ப்ரொடெக்ட் கஸ்டமர் டெலிக்வென்சி அனலைஸ் பிஹேவியல் பேட்டர்ன்ஸ் அண்ட் டிசைன் ஸ்மார்ட் இன்டர்வென்ஷன் ஸ்ட்ராட்டஜிஸ் ட்ரஸ் மீ திஸ் டாஸ்க் டேக்ஸ் யூ ஒன் ஸ்டெப் க்ளோசர் டு பிக் மீன் ஜாப் ரெடி இன் த வேர்ல்ட் ஆஃப் ஏஐ பவர்ட் அனலிட்டிக்ஸ் ஸ்டிக் அரவுண்ட் பிகாஸ் பை த என் you will not only understand the task clearly but also get pro tips to help you crack it real like a data analyst let's move to next page here just go through it there is nothing new so hit next to page 3 here they discuss how to leverage generative ai for predictive modeling without coding whereas what is predictive modeling it's the process of using historical data to forecast future outcomes traditional predictive modeling typically requires coding expertise but gen ai tools can suggest appropriate modeling techniques draft a description of model uh, logic or even sample code assist in interpreting results moreover on page 4 we have how generative ai assist in predictive modeling where there is three steps let's explore it step by step so we can resolve the task too faster first in selecting the right model type gen ai can analyze data set statistics and recommend the most suitable techniques that are decision uh, tree that's for explaining why a predictive prediction was made the second is logistic regression useful for predicting binary outcomes Neural networks is effective for complex patterns but harder to interpret. Then the second is generating model code without coding. Gen AI can generate an initial modeling workflow in Python, R or SQL. The last is evaluating model performance. Once a model is built, its accuracy must be assessed. Gen AI can suggest evaluation metrics such as accuracy, precision and recall. interpret results and suggest improvements and highlight ethical concerns such as potential biases moving forward to common techniques for credit risk modeling understand this by yourself as i am sharing the summary that each model has strength and trade offs in this task our goal is to choose the best approach based on gaussian data sets and business needs use decision tree if you need transparency and clear risk segmentation use logistic regression if you need a probability based approach that is easy to interpret or use neural network if you have a complex data set and need high accuracy at the cost of explainability then hit next and read out the page 6 by your own as this section will guide you through evaluating model accuracy and reliability while considering bias explainability and fairness All essentials for making responsible AI driven decisions in financial services. Do not forget to understand the key metrics for model evaluation as they are the part of task 2. On page 7 we have bias, explainability and fairness in credit risk modeling. AI driven credit risk model can be powerful but only if they are used reasonably. Here we will explore three key principle bias explainability and fairness bias happens when a model unfairly favor or disadvantages certain group often due to historical or data related issues like selection or proxy bias while gen ai can help detect patterns always validate results with fairness metrics and human oversight then we must understand why the model made a decision especially in finance to like sap help breaks down complex predictions do not rely solely on gen ai summarizes they may reflect the actual model logic a fair model ensures equal treatment across all groups test for fairness using framework like demographic uh by the and ensure your training that is diverse and unbiased responsible ai is finance means combining gen ai tool with ethical practices transparency and compliance human oversight remains essential hit next then this page highlights how gen ai tools like chatgpt and deepseek are revolutionizing 
the predictive modeling and graded risk assessment by making it more accessible even for those with limited coding experience. Key takeaways are Gen AI can generate model code, example logistic regression using simple prompt in Python, R, or SQL. It assists with tasks like feature selection and hyperparameter tuning. However, human expertise is still essential to review, debug, and validate AI-generated code. Gen AI helps improve prediction accuracy by suggesting model twins and identifying overfitting or bias. It can generate alternative models for comparing, enhancing overall model performance and fairness. And finally, we have a task here. I will discuss and guide the answers step by step. Firstly, we will be using a Gen AI tool, ChatGPT, to outline a structured approach for a predictive model, key important features, and how they contribute to predictions, and generate sample code or clear pseudo code for building a credit risk prediction model using relevant features like income, credit utilization, and missed payment. So the solution summary will be, I generated a predictive model using logistic reduction to estimate the likelihood of a customer becoming delinquent. The model uses key features such as credit, credit utilization, missed payment, income, debit to income ratio, and account tenure to predict a binary outcome. One, if the customer is likely to become delinquent and zero otherwise. Then I am sharing the procedure code on the uh, page so you can have the idea of it. Moving to step two, it's asking for justify your model choice. The first is justify why the selected model is appropriate for predicting delinquency. I choose logistic regression because it is widely used for binary classification problems and is highly interpretable. Second is discuss strength, trade-offs, and why the model fits Belgium needs. In financial services, model transparency is crucial, and logistic regression offers clear co uh, coefficient of outputs to explain each predictor's influence. Third is consider interpretability, interpretability ease of development, uh, deployment, and handling of financial data. This model is, is simple to implement, does not require large com uh, computational resources, and provide strong baseline performance for credit risk analysis. Last is connect your reasoning to real world business needs, example, regularity, compliance, and transparency. It allows for quick interaction and stakeholder communications, make it an ideal fit for Gallium. A uh, goal for, of responsibly, uh, responsibly identifying at risk uh, customer. Finally, the third step is plan how to evaluate model performance. Here we are asked to identify appropriate evaluation metrics, assess the model accuracy and reliability, check for bias or unfair treatment across different customer groups, interpret evaluation metrics, and decide when the model needs improvement. So to evaluate the model, I would use accuracy, precision, recall, F1 score, and AUC. Precision and recall are particularly important. Precision ensures we avoid unnecessary interventions for low-risk customers, while recall helps identify most high-risk customers. The F1 score balances both, and AUC evaluates the model ability to distinguish between classes across three shows. To check for bias, I would explain, examine prediction patterns across geographical segmentations, example employment status or location to ensure fairness, and strong disparities would prom prompt model uh, reassessments or rebalancing. Ethical consideration include avoiding proxy bias, maintaining transparency, and clearly communicating how model outcomes influence decisions. Combine all the answers as per the template in three paragraphs and upload its Word or PDF file. And that's wrap up. Task 2 of the Gen AI Power Data Analytics Interaction. In the next task, we will move deeper into the presentation building, business storytelling, and translating model outcomes into actionable strategies for the stakeholders. Do not forget to like, subscribe, and hit the bell icon so you do not miss out on the upcoming task. Drop your question in the comment if you are stuck anywhere and here to help. Thank you for watching and see you in the task 3.